Hey, KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. Our team arrives on time and is always professional. Be sure your unit is ready for the cooler temperatures by visiting our website, callks.com today, and schedule your appointment. It's fast and easy. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today. 205-322-9090, AL certification number 1112. It's the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition. This is for Wednesday, the 25th of October. I'm James Spann. Very cool and dry today, even colder this weekend. And again, look out for frost and freeze issues for parts of north and central Alabama by Sunday morning and Monday morning. Boy, check this out. Big, deep upper trough over the eastern U.S. Delivering a very cool, dry air mass we have today. The sky will be sunny. And we are starting off this day in the 30s and 40s. Cold spot on the board is Fort Payne at 36. Birmingham at 41. The high today in the low 60s in most spots with sunshine in full supply. North of the state this morning, frost advisories for much of Tennessee. Again, our big frost most likely comes Sunday morning and especially Monday morning of next week. That's when the sky is clear and the wind goes calm. With a cool, stable air mass in place, thunder almost impossible to find across the country today. Maybe the coast of New England and the southern tip of Florida, and that's it. Then on day three, this is Friday, there could be some thunder Friday night across Alabama with the approach of a cold front, mainly after midnight, but severe weather not expected. And the rain for the next seven days, rain amounts about one inch for the north, one half inch for the south. And again, that's what the rain we see as the weekend begins. Friday night and Saturday. Tropical weather, still watching that disturbance near the coast of Central America. A medium chance of that developing over the next five days. And again, that will probably merge with that weekend cold front moving just off the east coast of the United States. No threat to Alabama at all, if anything forms there. So, model fans, here we go. The GFS, the 06E run, valid at 1 o'clock this afternoon at 500 millibars. Deep trough over the east, a dry air mass. Sunny today with a high in the low 60s. Tomorrow, start the day again in the upper 30s and low 40s in most spots. The high will be in the low 70s, a bit warmer as we'll have a sunny day. Friday, partly sunny. Highs again low, maybe mid-70s in spots, getting back to where we should be for this time of the year. But we notice the cold front west of the state. And boy, look at the snow up there around Minneapolis-St. Paul to the west of that surface low near Madison, Wisconsin. But the day Friday will be dry. The question is, when does the rain get in here Friday night? This is just after midnight Friday night, and the GFS is a little faster. And this is suggesting that rain could enter the northwestern part of the state maybe around 8, 9 o'clock Friday night. It's going to be a close call for these high school football games now. This is the European, again, 1 a.m. Saturday, and it's got the rain as far east is Birmingham. So I think for most of the state, the bulk of the rain still will be after midnight, but on the western side, the rain might begin between 9 p.m. and midnight Friday night. Keep that in mind. And then Saturday, the rain will be moving out by midday, again, with this faster speed we're seeing here. Uh, let's go to the European. This is uh, one o'clock Saturday afternoon. Uh, the rain mainly on the eastern side of the state, but Saturday's going to be just a nasty day. Cold will be in the 40s much of the day. Strong west to northwest wind, uh, rain uh, mainly during the morning, just blustery and uh, like the dead of winter, very uncomfortable. Uh, we, I know Jacksonville State's got a home football game. Just be ready to bundle up. But again, hopefully a lot of the rain's going to push out by mid-afternoon. We'll go to Sunday. Sunday's going to be breezy and cold. In the morning, we'll do mid-30s. The GFS showing 36 at Birmingham on this run. Uh, but still, I think with the we, the wind... That might mitigate widespread frost and keep temperatures above freezing. The day Sunday will be cool and dry with a high in the 50s. And then Monday, that's when the surface highs on top of us. And I think that's going to be the morning where those colder pockets go in the 20s. Some spots see a freeze. Most everybody sees a frost. That should be a widespread frost on Monday morning. And then Tuesday, where sunny highs go back in the 60s. Go to Wednesday, a week from today, the 1st of November. We should mention Halloween, by the way, for Tuesday evening. It looks great for the kids trick-or-treating. Uh, Wednesday of next week, still got broad troughing over the eastern two-thirds of the country and another cold front approaching from the north. That might bring a few showers Wednesday afternoon or Wednesday night if this verifies. Here's the end of the forecast period. This is uh, Friday of next week, the 3rd. Heights are coming up a little bit, and 
Again, maybe some showers. We've seen other looks with a more dynamic feature, but confidence is low in this pattern that far out. Here are the numbers, and again, you can see the big drop this weekend. Uh, the GFS pushes the, uh, this is the ensemble, pushes down to 35 Sunday morning, 33 Monday morning. And after that, uh, the rest of next week, highs mostly in the 60s and lows mostly in the 40s. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Hey, KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today. 205-322-9090 AL certification number 11120